<laughs> um, this is me on the uh, immediate left. And there's my dad, and my sister Julia, uh, our mother, and uh, on the right, my brother uh, Robert. And this was, I think, taken probably in 1960 when my father was running for mayor. And they wanted to have like an official family photo for the, for the campaign. My father got married late in life. He was married at the age of 49 for the first and only time. Uh, but before he was married even, he had, I mentioned, you know, he had a big family. He had, there were five brothers and three sisters. And um, he had nieces and nephews. And uh, so he had this cottage, which was uh, west of Ottawa, about a half hour drive uh, from downtown. And um, I remember as a young boy, sort of, yeah, we would stay out there for a month or two during the summer, but he would commute on a daily basis. He would go into town and he would work and uh, go to his law office and, or uh, maybe he was putting up buildings in downtown Ottawa in those days or whatever activities he was involved in, and he would come out uh, in the evenings. He had a little motor boat and, uh, with, a, with an outboard motor and uh, I, and, 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 there were, and a rowboat, and, uh, you know, we'd go on the Ottawa River. Uh, it was still in those days where they, sort of the logging was dying, but you had to be careful for deadheads and so on and so forth. Uh, I think I remember once vaguely that the back of the boat fell off and the motor and went into the, you know, the boat sort of fell apart. On another occasion, we were out on a little boat trip, and there was a, th a thunderstorm came up, and um, he felt it was too dangerous to stay on the water. So uh, it wasn't, we were maybe half a mile from our cottage, and we pulled up to the shore and, and, and broke into somebody's cottage to take shelter from the storm. But then afterwards, I think my father left a note to say, uh, okay, uh, I'll pay for the broken pane of glass. Uh, we, we took shelter during the storm. My father loved books. He used to go to the Carnegie Library, and um, I used to ask him what did he read, and he said everything I could get my hands on. He would go to the uh, librarian and ask for some suggestions, and he would immerse himself in books. And so it was kind of fitting that his first job he went to a bookstore on Spark Street owned by a man called James Hope. It was called James Hope and Sons. And he asked him, he said, I'd like to work for you. And Hope sent him into a stock room in the back and said, here, see all of those books, dust them off. Okay, I, I'm prepared to offer you a job. Um, and my father said to him, you know, I come from a Jewish family, I can't work any Saturday. So Hope said, well, never mind, the Lord will provide for the morrow. And my father used to tell that story and say that was the first lesson in tolerance that he obtained.